Good morning, good morning, good morning. I just woke up. Coffee and donuts. I'm going to soak my feet one more time. And then pack up. And get on the trail. Okay, so yesterday I showed you guys a little bit of all the food I had. Like, all the food I'd still been carrying from Pie Town. Um, and again, that's mostly because the people at the TLC Ranch fed us so well that um, I didn't really have that big of an appetite. But um, also, um, all the food that um, I got sent to Grant's that um, I put in a box before I left and that my boyfriend sent me. <clears throat> so I had a lot of food. And then yesterday, I went and bought more food. And I will tell you why, and I'm gonna show you what all I'm carrying to get to Cuba. I'm watching a uh, documentary about the conspiracies of the Catholic Church. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so. What to do first? Uh, all right, we'll start with breakfast. All right, so I've got... I was going to eat this for breakfast this morning, but I had donuts. And I just don't really have that big of an appetite right now. So uh, I've got six total oatmeals with varying amounts of almonds and pecans. Um, again, I'm not going to need that much, but I just want to carry it anyway. Um... Whey protein. So Monster turned me on to this, and he ended up, he made me a protein shake when we were at the toaster house, and I really liked it, and he said that he drinks one in the morning and one at night before dinner, and it helps fill him up, and it helps um, ensure that he's getting a lot of protein, and I'm sure you guys have seen in the videos, he's freaking huge, and I am trying to gain some muscle weight, so I'm hoping that's going to work. I'm, I'm really excited to try that. Um, all right, so first, that's breakfast. Dinners, I've got bonza, 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 um, and chicken. So I don't have any of my pesto stuff to make pesto, which is so good, but um, I think I'm just going to make, like, chicken noodle or, like, vegetable soup with the noodles and then add in the chicken so it'll be, like, chicken noodle soup. And for lunches, I've got four packs with two in each of these ramens. And these just are so good. Like, I haven't even really been eating these, but they're so good. And I think it's because I keep saving them for later. I'm like, oh, no, I'll want it later. I'll want it later. But, um, no, I'm definitely eating those. And then in here, I've got my hemp hearts, which add 200 calories for, like, two tablespoons or something. And um, some vegetable bouillon cubes that are healthier uh, than the chicken bouillon ones. Miso soup. Um, I don't know if I'm going to actually eat this on the on this run, but um, it's super light, and there's only three in there, so I'll keep it just in case. Um, I want to start eating rice during the day. I hate bars. I hate sweet snacks. So, and I love white rice. Like, it's all I think about when I'm out there for some reason. I really don't know why, but I just love white rice, t um, even when I'm not hiking. And I crave it even more when I'm out here. So, just add to boiling water and let it sit for like five minutes. So, it should be pretty, pretty simple. These I sent myself. Um, I was going to put them in the hiker box today, but I decided that I'll actually take them with me because it will add some variety to the rice for a midday snack. Um, all right. That's my coffee cup. Oh, yeah. Um, so I do have a few bars. So these are, so this right here is, so those are my meals of like lunch and breakfast and dinner. This is my snack pile. So I do have a few bars because I do like the fig ones. So I cut those. And then I picked these up at the gas station the other day just because I actually do like Cliff Bar's protein chocolate mint flavor. Um, I've always liked those. So I grabbed two. They're kind of expensive, so I try not to buy them that often. Um, I talked to you about this yesterday, this granola that I got from Costco. I didn't eat as much as I want, as I had packed for, for to eat 
between Pie Town and Grant's, but that's because it was so good that I was like, oh no, like, I don't want to run out. I want to save some to get to Cuba. And then I sent myself a whole new bag. So I get to pick out. Um, apricots, God, I finally made my way through the other pack, um, the other little bag of apricots this morning. I freaking hate dried apricots. But it's got vitamins and minerals. Dried blueberries, I freaking love. I'll probably eat these in like one sitting or something. Gummy worms, oh yeah. Peanut M Ms, crucial, 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 crucial. Beef jerky, a whole freaking pound. Um, I'm sure this will last me to trauma, but um, good stuff. Um, bagels. So this is what I got yesterday at the store. Uh, well, I actually got that chicken at the store yesterday too. But um, sometimes I like I've been craving sandwiches. Like cr sandwiches are so freaking good sometimes. And I haven't been able to have any. So I got some Dave's Killer Bread, Epic Everything. They're expensive, but I just feel like they're healthier. Uh, they pack 260 calories in each one. Plus, you get protein, fiber, um, and they've got, like, really clean, or at least cleaner ingredients. So um, I'm super excited. Um, again, I don't recommend buying this every time you buy bagels just because they're like five, it's like five bucks for five bagels, but they're awesome. And uh, some more tofurkey deli slices. Um, again, I used to eat these a lot more when I was vegetarian, um, but clearly I'm not vegetarian on the trail, but this is the best way to pack out deli, um, that won't go bad. And then the stuff that I still have not eaten since Silver City. So, yeah. And then my usual spice stuff that you guys have seen before. And some drink mixes. I'm packing the Mio because it's got caffeine and vitamins. So I'm hoping that that will do me good. Okay, so that's a lot of food. And I don't care because, again, I'm trying to build muscle. I'm trying to build muscle endurance because this right here, even though it's a lot more food than I'm going to need to get to Cuba, it's about the right quantity I'll need and maybe even um, not even as much as I will need to get in between um, towns in Colorado um, just because it will be colder, I'll be hauling snowshoes, ice axe, crampons, or micro spikes, one of the two. Um, so I'll be hauling extra weight in snow, up and down mountains. So I'm going to be eating a lot more, um, burning a lot more, consuming a lot more. So I'm just trying to get used to, ha to hauling um, heavier pack loads. So... I just left the Sands Hotel. I got my pack. Checking poles. I, uh, it's 11.30. <laughs> he called me at 11.15. I was like, you know, check out at 11, right? <laughs> like, yeah, I do. I'm just not very good at being on time. Ever. But, uh, Alright, I just got to go to the laundromat and wash some laundry because my the underwear and the pants I haven't washed in like a week and a half smell like butt. So I figured I'll take my time in there washing stuff and um, do some last minute phone service things. Um, while I have service because I looked at the map, the coverage map, and I'm about to lose service beyond Cuba. So like, even when I get to Cuba, I'm not going to have service, I don't think. So, oh, I packed so much food and like all my new clothes and sleeping bag and, or sleeping bag liner and sleeping pad takes up so much room. I had to donate the apricots which I'm not too sad about. A pack of oatmeal, or like a breakfast of like two oatmeals and some nuts and 
the hash browns to the hiker box. So, um, yeah. This place is called uh, Tasty Place, and it's actually super good. Oh, Tasty Kitchen. Doesn't look like much, but uh, it was awesome. Got a big plate of veggies and chicken and white rice. Ugh, I think I'm just procrastinating climbing this frickin' mountain. Oh, there it is. Ugh. Alright, onwards. <laughs> chance would tear my fucking face off. I'm gonna go in here and ask if I can pee because there's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to hide for four miles. Oh lordy. So a funny story. My pack is so heavy, and by the way, for all the people who are giving me such wonderful advice in the comments, oh god, stay out of my face. Um, I am so prepared right now. I have about a gallon of water, and a gazillion pounds of food, a gazillion pounds of clothes, and all my warm stuff that my boyfriend shipped me. So, if anything bad happens, I don't think it will. Because I am prepared. I've just been walking and then I was like, oh wait, did I even tell my funny story? <laughs> um, I was, uh, when I was leaving the Tasty Kitchen, I, my pack was like sitting next to the door. And it's so heavy that I can't pick it up. Well, I can, but with a struggle. And so instead of like putting it on and trying to like throw it over my butt and then work it up to my shoulders in front of everybody sitting down having a nice lunch, I just grabbed the straps and drug it outside <laughs> and then put it on, which I don't know which which way it would be more embarrassing than watching me drag my pack out shamefully or uh, putting it on while I was in there, but oh well. So, I have made it to the trailhead in the Cibola National Forest. So that was like a five or six mile road walk from the Sands Motel. And I'm just airing out the old piggies. Oh yeah. And uh, I'll add some flavor, electrolyte stuff to my water. And then I'm gonna pop this in my phone. The view is spectacular. It's also like a really, really <laughs> oh, <coughs> nasty climb right when you get on the trail. Lots of elevation gain. I thought that Silver, or I thought Grants was at 9,000 feet for some reason. I don't know why I thought that, but I think it's at like 6,500 or something. So, 
I don't know if you can see, but that is Grant's right, or not Grant's, ugh. Um, what's it called? Mount Taylor. I'm hoping to be at the top of it by tomorrow at like noon, but I'm moving pretty slow. Well, um, I'm in a pretty good area right now. I'm supposed to lose service uh, sometime today or tomorrow, and I won't have it until about Ghost Ranch or something, so I'll be like at least a week without service. So I'm about to call my parents and check in, and uh, yeah. Um, the trail has been so freaking muddy today. Um, I do not regret taking an extra day in Grants right now at all because my boots are like caked with mud. I'm currently sitting, um, on mud, but I don't even care. <laughs> uh, who cares? Um, but uh, I can only imagine what it was like yesterday when it was actually raining and everything. And today it's had most of the day to dry. So, um, loving that. Um, all right, I'll get back to you in one second. I literally I literally just walked out of cell service. I didn't realize it. So I just left my pack and I'm walking back into cell service so that I can call home. <sighs> well, uh, if I had known If I had known I was going, I walked out of service a mile ago, I would have stopped walking about a mile ago. <laughs> At least it's pretty. But, um, yeah, just called home. Apparently, uh, my Aunt Sandy and my grandma is in town from St. Louis in Kentucky, and they're all at my Aunt Kathleen's house. And my parents are there, and my cousin Katie is there, and I just send them all my love. Um, so, now, oh God, this is going to be a long 100 mile stretch. And it's going to be lonely, but I will persevere. And it will be good. I won't lie right now. I'm eating a bagel sandwich right now. And it's really good. But, I really wish I was at home right now. <laughs> I've been out here for 30 days now, and I thought by now I would be used to it. <laughs> but every day is so freaking different, and I learn so much every single day. But I still miss home just as much every single day, maybe even more every day. And tonight, my Aunt Sandy and my grandma were all in town and from St. Louis and Kentucky, and I just really wish I could be there right now, <laughs> getting drunk with my cousins and my aunts, my cousin Katie. My Aunt Sandy, my Aunt Kathleen, my mom, and my cousin-in-law, John, or soon-to-be cousin-in-law. 
the uh, the loneliness is pretty um persistent <laughs> I guess is a good word but I think um I think I'm getting stronger and um I think that I'm still happy that I'm doing this um I'm gonna make a video explaining why I decided to do the CDT and why I made it my first through hike and all that good stuff later I don't know when but I'm still collecting my thoughts and wrapping my head around some things. But, um, yeah, I, um, I'm excited to climb Mount Taylor tomorrow. And I'm excited to be learning and growing out here. I know I'm really annoying, and I know <laughs> I have so many lows and so many highs, and I'm sure you guys are like, oh my god, like, pick, you know, just like, get used to it or something, but, um, I don't know. I actually never cry, like, I literally never cry, and <laughs> being out here, I'm just like, a big ball of emotion, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'm gonna finish my bagel sandwich and go to sleep. All right.